basic authentication on the last video we cover how we can set up our MVC application how we set up our web.config file with our connection string and if you missed this video part one I uh, would advise you to view it first before you start on part two so on this video what we're gonna be doing is uh, creating a controller that will allow us to create uh, roles on our, our website. So in the last video I created this controller called members and if you remember the last thing I did was add this attribute which is authorized which basically means that you need to log in to view this page. So just a quick overview I'm gonna run this uh, test site and we're gonna just review that portion of it before we continue to the next part two. So we're gonna go to that site, to that controller. So it's called members. And the site should take us to the login page like we have here. So that's what we did on the last video. Now in this video we're going to create a controller. I'm going to stop this. And for this video I'm using uh, I'm using the community edition, but it's the same thing as 2015 or 2013. Anyway, so in this one we're going to create a controller because this video it's about creating roles on your website. So I'm going to go create a controller empty and I'm gonna call it uh, roles you can name it anything you want I'm gonna click add and we have our index view I'm gonna right click on it and say add view just click add and we have the view here so we're gonna close this we don't need it make sure you save and then the next thing we're gonna do is um, add something to the view what what I mean about that is when you go to the roles page roles uh, we're gonna list what roles we have created so to save time I have done this code already in notepad so all we're gonna do is, in my case, I'm gonna copy and paste, and that's gonna save us a lot of time instead of typing. Okay, so here, um, I'm gonna go over this. So here at the top, our model is gonna be the role, identity role entity from Entity Framework. So what we have here is just basic h2 tag we have a link and there's two links one to create and one to manage uh, the roles of the users so on this video we're going to cover this section create and edit and delete and the part three we're going to cover this one manage user roles so right now if i launch the website uh, our model is going to be empty because our index here doesn't have anything to show so we're expecting uh, roles and we're gonna have we're gonna be showing the name of the role and also when you click delete it's gonna uh, pop up a message saying are you sure and then it's gonna hit another site another action which is this one is delete we haven't done it yet but that's what's gonna happen so I'm gonna go back here this is our index. We're gonna close this. We don't need it. 
I'm gonna leave this code on the description if it's possible and if not just let me know and I'll send you this so you can copy and paste to follow along so here at the top of our controller what we're gonna do is most um, templates already have under models they have a class or model identity models and this basically points to your default connection so it's kind of a nice way of you connecting to your uh, database from anywhere so in my case I'm gonna be creating a private um, application well before you do that I think you need to come up to the namespaces and we're gonna add this models so we can so we know what Visual Studio knows we're using that particular class so we're gonna say private uh, application DB context this guy is the one that is uh, connected to your default uh, connection string so here we can name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter what it is but we're gonna do that so that give us access to to our database so here on our view we're gonna return a list of rows and then we're gonna say to list so we save and when we hit this page if our model has anything it would just loop into it so it's pretty simple so if I run it it should be blank So we're going to do slash rows. So as you can see, it's just blank. There's no rows. We haven't done anything yet. So the next thing to do is we're going to work on this action create. So we don't have it yet. If we click on it, it's going to fail. So we're going to go ahead and create that. And make a space for it down here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to create. And well, this is the view code. So, well, I'm gonna go here then and get that. So we're gonna have, we're gonna need two. One is gonna be in charge of the get attribute, and one is gonna actually save the code. So over here, this action created by default, it goes to get action. So only get calls will get a trigger here. The next one, it has the same name create, but it has a HTTP post. So if you're posting a form, it's gonna grab the information here. So it has one argument, form collections, and in here, as you can see, we have a little issue here. So you can, depend how you, what this studio you have, just say this namespace, and then that's gonna work, which is this one. So I added this namespace so we can work on the identity role. So once we have that, then we're gonna pull from our form collection, this role name, and then we're gonna hit save, and we'll tell the user anything you want, row create successfully. And then we're gonna return to create. So let's grab the other section that create. So I'm gonna copy that, which is for this one. We need to create the view. Just click add and just paste the code in there and now we should be good so we should have a text box just a little what it is in a text box with that so remember that your form starts here and it's here remember the text box that you have here needs to match 
on your controller side make sure that this and this what is uh, uh, here it matches if not if if you misspelled it it's gonna it's not gonna see it here so we have a try block here just in case something goes wrong it will just go back to create so let's see if this actually works and there's this anti-foreign token and validation summary so this just make saying that hey make sure this data comes from our our machine our uh, application not from somewhere else okay so we're gonna run this guy again we wait for this to load and we go to rows oh, probably didn't save well that's perfect that's perfect yeah that's good we don't have anything yet so we're gonna create create new row and now we should have a text box here so now we're gonna say we're gonna create a row called manager click save okay let's save now I'm gonna create another one called admin administrator click save I'm gonna say mm, oh, we just call it well that's enough but that's the main thing it's working and you can pause it to well, I'm gonna create another one uh, I'll just say supervisor and this time I'm gonna add a on the controller I'm gonna do here before we save I'm gonna put it over here too so I'm gonna click save and debugging shows here so on our form collection we have count two. the one we're looking for it's called name row name so that's the one we need to pull that's what is happening here and then it's gonna be assigned so we continue I don't think we can see the value of it but it was the whatever we set set up on the page so now we wanna I'm gonna remove this <coughs> and go back list rows and now you can see we have three so now the next thing to do is can we delete it so I'm gonna delete uh, supervisor so now as, you, as I told you before you have a little pop-up I mean you don't need it but you could just add it there click OK we're gonna delete it delete it uh, it didn't work because we haven't done this action yet so we can stop this and go build that and I also have that in our little notepad so that's what I'm gonna be doing close this guys and we're gonna go get that portion of it and here we have the delete copy that paste it and for this one we're not gonna use a view it's just gonna call it in and return it and we're gonna return back so uh, we're gonna go run again this come back to it okay the slow machine okay rows I'm gonna delete let's see if this actually works and it took us back to this I mean you can send send it back to to the rows page instead of to the create row so that's up to you and now we know that that works so I'm gonna delete administrator too okay so now we're gonna work on edit so we haven't if we click on it it's not gonna work again so if you click nothing happens right so we're gonna go copy that too now for this one we're gonna use a view so we have here we go 
we need one to get and one for posting same as the creating copy and we're gonna paste this guy okay so we have the first one that is gonna give us we're gonna ask for a row name we're gonna go find it we're gonna check the name of the rows and we're gonna go find it and return the first one we find and re return that row to our view and then on the edit we can remove this we don't need it um, on the next one we're gonna submit the row and we're gonna say that something has changed on the row on this entity and we're gonna tag it as modify and then we hit save so that basically tells you know that uh, the framework that is tracking this entity this you need to save the changes and then return to index now for this one we need a, a view the edit click add and now I'm gonna close this guy out come back to the oh, this is gone we need the edit and we're gonna copy and paste hit save and now we're basically gonna take our row into here and we have a text box that we can edit so let's see it in, in action. Wow, taking forever. Anyways, we're going to go here. We're going to edit manager. So click edit. That's manager. We're going to say, I don't know, AM. Because we have two managers. Hit save. So as you can see, it added manager. Let's create another one called manager uh, PM. Oh. Let's see. I think I hit enter. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm going to edit because I wanted to add PM to it hit save and as you can see it's working so we have create delete and edit now and if we go back to the database here we still have one use we should still have one user from the previous uh, video it's still there and roles we don't have anybody in, in any role so this user doesn't have any roles basically that's why this is empty and we're gonna see the rows and as you can see we have two so as you do more let's see okay so as you create more rows it should show up here so each row has an ID got it so I'm gonna place this code um, all the code from this controller on the description or I would just say uh, leave a link so you can download it so you can copy and paste it 